have chosen wisely. Alright, so here we are at the target with a properly stocked Holothon end cap. Yay! Punk Disguise Turtles. You guys have seen these, but I haven't in the wild, so. Here's that four pack. Here's the business suit casing with the split foot soldier. Sewer Heroes, we've seen the clone. There's my boy Kirby. Don't tell me they got a bunch of them now. Now he's everywhere. No, that's the old uh, Rene. And then here's Baxter Stockman before the transformation. And there's a big old swollen up foot enforcer. I thought that was Shredder for a second. Here's the uh, Yusagi Yujimbo Samurai. Let's give you a shot of that. That's cool. You got the sewer series. Uh, there's the big robot. Terminate the turtles. There's the brothers. Donnie, Mikey, Raph, and Leo. All four. This is basically the literally the cartoon style. Look at these. It's great. Put that down on the glare. What he does. Down below, we got this Ronin, last Ronin two pack. Ninja Patrol Troop Reinforcements, okay. And then they've got the turtles, uh, monsters down below with a Predator and a Frankenstein thrown in for good measure. And then some plush on the bottom. So there you go. It's only a week late, <laughs> but uh, we'll take it. If there's anything you need, let me know. All right, carrying on. Notice that Star Wars is Put together this little Star Wars, Marvel Star Wars Transformers end cap. This is all Star Wars, but we got the Galaxy Squadron, the Death Star battle set, and the Falcon and TIE Interceptor, TIE Fighter, a couple of those. And this is gonna be a shocker to everybody, but there's Lando's still available. So for those of you guys that missed them, you know, for the last year and a half, and they've got some of the Hot Wheels. Oh, there's the ghost. We have almost had, thanks to the Falcon, we almost had a drop of the week right there. Scythe. Am I reading that right? Oh, the package is jacked up. Got to put it back. Lots of ghosts. That's cool. All right. There's people down the aisle here. Let me see if I can get in there. Transformers was just on sale. Look, it's, uh, people took advantage. They got some Aquaman on sale. And let's see. McFarlane Batman figures, $13.99. So Duke Thomas. I doubt this one is. I'm gonna scan it just for the hell of it, but no. And that's Sinestro's uh probably 29 and they've got Jokers and Aqualad. What's uh Let's take this right over because the scanner's right here. Let's see what uh, Christian Bale comes out to be. $22.99. So it's just the older stuff. Yeah, it's on sale. I've got the other one, the uh, Chase figure with the wired cape, which is very, very cool. So well, catch and release, Bruce. Uh, let's see. Cobra Copperhead on sale for $17.49. All right, they're trying. Still got that silly Superman two pack. This is still $45. Looking to my left, I don't see too much happening from Marvel Legends. Oh, they do have a couple of retros. Spider shot twice. And I'm just thinking, that's cool looking, but I'm not, I don't have an interest. I don't need it. And then they're still trying to push off some Infinity Saga caps and Iron Man's, so. All right. 
that's going to do it for this location. Appreciate you guys watching. Stick around for more. So I had to do voiceover for this portion of the uh, toy hunt here at GameStop because they were being shopped by corporate and they had like six people in the store and it was just so noisy. So as you can see, I found <laughs> some McFarlane right away. Stuff that I've already owned. They got the Batman McFarlane spinning around. They've got a Spider-Man uh, Tombstone. There's Mary Jane. Of course, Mary Jane. There's an avalanche down there and that other Spidey. I, uh, I don't need this one. I've already got the ones from this wave that I want. So it was an easy uh, catch and release. They did have some newer G.I. Joe, which we've seen on previous hunts. Some of you guys let me know in the comments. Are you buying these? And uh, there's, of course, you get the Ripper. I had a few of those. It's more tough. More tough. It's tougher <laughs> to do voiceover than it is for me to, to be live and talking as I'm finding stuff. There's some of that AEW. They had superpowers, as you can see. Still got Indiana Jones chilling. One thing I did see here for the Batman 66 is this Alfred. And that's cool. I don't want it, but, I mean, I just hadn't seen it before in the wild. And Batmite. So, there's that. Put him back on the peg. Head over to the other wall here. They've still got the helmets. Slave One, a.k.a. Boba Fett Starship. And on the wall, 2198 for their uh, Black Series. There's a Return of the Jedi Chewie. This one, 375 Andor back there. This is a Count Dooku. I think my buddy Dean picked this one up already. Not a bad figure if you collect 375s. I mean, that looks pretty good. Got the likeness down, even on that, that small a scale. So that's good to see. Some more Boba Fett. Digging around, digging around. Looking at all the stuff. Black or Santon. Who's discounted now in targets? Finally. Finally. And they've got the McFarlane Aquaman Series 2 Batman animated, which has been here for a number of weeks. And the Batgirl, there she is. Nice looking figures, but I've got my original from Series 1. That's the one Batman animated uh, that I need to represent. There's Brainiac Ship, you got the Batmobile. Some older Marvel Legends, of course, Loki. You can see Star-Lord back there. There's He Who Remains. Photon. There's an Emma Frost. No new surprises on that front. There's a Hawkeye. Uh, Yelena Belova there in the back. And it looks like a kingpin. Yeah. So we're going to put that back and we're going to scan down below. Some old Marvel Legends set, Hawkeye on the cycle. Oh, now they do have some of the Wolverine two-packs, which was nice to see. And the prices are normal everywhere. So there's Patch and uh, Mr. Fix-It. Good-looking set. And actually, I'm really considering picking that one up. And behind it, you've got the Wolverine and Psylocke. 50 bucks. And I thought it was a duplicate back there, but then I realized looking at it closely, no, it's actually the uh, Brood Wolverine and uh, Lalandra, who was featured prominently in this week's episode of X-Men 97. Spoilers. So, putting those back. All right, leave the campsite the same way you found it. And down below, they did have this, I, I've almost bought this like 10 times, the Tesseract with the uh, Loki figure in the civilian clothes. Someday they'll discount it and I'll be there. Same thing with this blob. I just don't want to spend $56. It's a cool looking fig, but not for $56. Bucks. I just can't bring myself to do it. So we're going to put everything back where we found it for today. I was hoping for a couple new X-Men 97s in the uh, GameStop. Spinning around, looking around. They usually, they, one thing about these stores, they put things in different sections. You can't count on just one area to find everything. There's more McFarlane Dragons, the uh, McFarlane Anti-Monitor, Black Manta, Carapax, Aquaman. I think they've got some D&D &D on the end cap over here. Yep, yep. 
nothing too exciting. This big old statue. This is from the game, I guess. GameStop exclusive. And that's it. I'm heading back outside to wrap this one up. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to all Gary's Grills content. And let me remind you once again, your grills are out there. Go find them. I'll see you next time. Gary's Grails available on Facebook, Instagram, X, always at home here on YouTube, or you can email me at garysgrails at gmail.com. It's an inbox that has never had anything in it. Somebody email me, for God's sakes, please.